thrill is there. There is something big that you must feel. This is a man against a man, and you have to fight. You're in the ring, you can't go anywhere. Intense, brutal, unforgiving. Some consider it the purest form of sport. Others, the toughest and loneliest sport in the world. Whatever your view, one thing is certain. When the bell goes, there's no place to hide. I desperately want to win this fight, and if something happens on the night, I'm going to be pretty devastated. I'm not scared of my opponent. I'm not scared about the crowd. That's it, no fear. Although I know winning is not everything, I feel like only a win will be able to justify my efforts. It's all about control. Keep the training in, in the forefront rather than the, the anger that makes you just want to flail away at Eight bouts. 16 fighters going head to head in one spectacular show. Singapore. And 16 ordinary men and women are about to find out what that means. And after 12 weeks of specialist training, they'll face the challenge of a lifetime. The toughest aspects of boxing are accepting the discipline that's necessary to be a successful boxer. This sport demands holistically your lifestyle in every sense. You can't smoke and box. You can't go out drinking on Friday night and box. You can't eat rubbish food and box. These guys will have trained boxing-wise three or four times a week. They'll be getting up at six in the morning, they'll be doing their runs, they'll be doing their strength and conditioning, they'll be doing yoga. These guys will have started a training program 12 weeks ago. And it's a training program that gives them a very condensed form of training to get them to the fitness levels required for the sport, but also in addition to give them the technical skills. For these 16 Singapore-based professionals, this gruelling training regime has been their reality for the past three months. And now, it's all coming to an end. So what kind of a person does it take to become a white-collar boxer? 28-year-old Lee Sien Wei is an associate working in a corporate and commercial law firm. He's the only Singaporean in this year's lineup, but he's quite clear about the challenge ahead. I think one of the biggest challenges is the time, because uh, we as professionals, I mean, we are white-collar boxers, so we have a full day working to work, and uh, you know, we have to strike a balance between the work and the training, so that was particularly tough. I've been doing a lot of sports, so I'm quite used to the physical aspects of the challenge. But um, I think the more difficult part of white collar boxing was the mental element. Uh, mentally, I've been preparing myself since the beginning of this event. I've been thinking about the night itself, and I'm mentally, both mentally and physically prepared. Shan Wei will be stepping into the ring to face Danny Lewis, a tough prospect for more reasons than one. I see him train hard, he skips, he jogs 100%. And, uh, but I guess one of the biggest strength and advantage that he has over me is probably his height and his weight advantage. So I guess uh, that might be quite telling on the night itself. At 38 years of age, Frenchman Vivian Quenet faces a very different challenge in his fight. His matchup has him facing an opponent who is 10 years younger than him. So what made him decide to sign up? When you look at the boxers, so, oh my God, they get a, a, a shoot of adrenaline that, that is very difficult to get elsewhere. Having a fight in front of 1,400 people with fireworks, with lights, with a big production, a bit like a Las Vegas style, with an MC, with, with, with the ring girls and, and everything, I think, who can have that? It's really something fantastic, so I could not miss the opportunity to do that. But there was another very important reason for Vivian to pull on his gloves. 
Charity is one thing, and I think it's good for my karma to, to, to get a bit of, uh, of my sweat and, and, uh, and hopefully not too much blood. <laughs> so that's one thing. Maybe the most important is also a fantastic personal challenge. Stopping everything and committing 100%. And you know that you, at the end, you will have to step on the ring. And whether you like it or not, whether you're scared or not, that's gonna happen. And then you have to live with that for three months. So that's mentally very difficult to do. Vivian is drawn against Dara Fitzgerald, a tough rugby playing Irishman with plenty of power and speed. He's shorter than me, but he's the same weight. So this means that uh, he should have a better balance on the ring. He should have more strength in his punches. But this also means that he doesn't have my height. So it will be more difficult for him, and that's a weakness, to reach me. And it won't be long before Vivian finds out if these advantages will be enough to help him in the ring. <music> Becky Vinden competes in the only female bout of the evening. Becky is 30 years old and works as a shipping commodity trader. What made her decide to take part in a sport in which she'll face violent physical combat? I always want to be better, I always want to be stronger, um, I always want to be fitter, so I think that that part of my personality really drives me to do this well. And, you know, it just seems like the right fit and the right way to fulfil that urge and, and also give myself a bit of a personal challenge. Becky is up against Zuzanna, who promises to be a formidable opponent. Zanna, or G.I. Zoo, as her fight name says. Uh, she, she's very strong, she's very tough. Um, she's also very determined, like me. Um, she's incredibly fit. Weaknesses, I think maybe she's a little bit nervous about getting into the ring. She's not very happy about being punched in the face, but I, <laughs> I don't think anybody would be really. But she's also not, not quite as aggressive, I think, as, as I can be. I desperately want to win this fight. I've, I've put, put my everything into this fight. You know, three months of, of very hard work. And if something happens on the night to, to mean that I don't win, then I'm going to be pretty devastated. Bruce Laidlaw works as an oil and gas field project manager. This isn't the first time he's competed as a white-collar boxer, but last time things didn't go as planned. I was pretty disappointed with myself, so this time I thought, give it everything, which I thought I did last time, but then I realised on the second time around I didn't. It's all about control. When you get hit, you have a, a tendency to get angry, and you hold your breath, you seize up, and you start to drop your hands and you'll lose. You have to keep technically spot on. This time around, it won't be any easier for Bruce. Standing in the way of victory is Matty Hall. Matty's a left-hander, and that will present unwanted challenges for Bruce. Well, he seems a very confident guy. He's, he's big, and uh, he was a professional sportsman here in Singapore. So uh, I know that he's got the mental attitude to be good at whatever he does. And uh, for someone who's never boxed before, he looked pretty impressive in the sparring. I've done this before, obviously, so um, I've got a little bit of an advantage uh, in keeping the nerves in check. Uh, I know what to expect, so hopefully I can get the same result as the last guy. So finally, after three long months, the training is over. For Becky, Vivian, Shenwei, and Bruce, it's time to put everything they've learnt into practice. And just days from now, they'll find out whether what they've learnt will be enough. And then we've got the biggest challenge of all, the first time the bell goes and the first time they actually feel that leather hit them in the face and they realise that whatever else they thought, it hurts more than they actually thought it would do. Fight night and three months of training have come to an end.
for the boxes, this is what it was all about. Outside, an audience hungry to be entertained. But for each of the fighters, tonight there's only one person they need to impress. Themselves. The hard work has been done, but now there's no turning back and no time left for preparation. This is the real thing. The boxers, when they enter the ring, will do one of two things. They will either be able to control their heartbeats, remember what they've been taught, and they'll put on a good show. Those that win will have been able to control their emotions. The difference between controlling your emotions and not can be the difference between getting in the ring half exhausted with a heart rate of 180, 190 beats per minute or getting it at 140 beats per minute. That's a significant difference when you're trying to put fitness and survive for your first three times two minutes. Behind the scenes, Vivian has already begun his warm-up. He's only minutes away from his big moment. Vivian has got a good jab. He moves around pretty fast, all right, and he's fit. So Vivian will probably perform pretty well. Only a few feet away, his Irish opponent looks calm and focused. In a few minutes, Vivian will find out if he can match the Irishman's speed and power. There is an interesting character, okay? He is a brawler. Okay, he's gonna, he's gonna come rushing in. See, he's gonna come rushing in, so he's just gonna throw punches after punches. And if Vivian doesn't keep his hands up, then I mean, just catch him with a strong right, because Gary has got a very strong right. I'm not scared of my opponent. I'm not scared about the crowd. That's it. The rest, no fear. From Saint Henry in France, Vivian Asterix Quenet. From County Clare in Ireland, Dynamite Dara Fitzgerald. Right from the bell. Dara comes out with intent. Round one, we started actually much faster than I thought. So we were immediately in the action. Well, I thought maybe we would observe each other. Uh, he knew, I knew that he would come in. That's definitely true, but I didn't thought he would come in immediately. He was uh, very ferocious. Maybe he was more eager to get this victory as me, at least in the first round. And because of that, then I was surprised. After two minutes of furious action, the bell goes for the end of round one. Round two begins, and it becomes clear that Vivian has a lot to do if he wants to stay in this fight. There was one moment where I was against the rope, and maybe a lot of people thought that I was taking a lot of shots, but actually I was quite protected, and I was actually waiting. Then finally we went in the middle of the ring, and there I managed to throw two good jabs, and one of them went right in his, in his nose, and it was a good one. Vivian knows what he's up against, but can he somehow find a way to win? Second start, round three. A stinging right-hander from Dara, and it's an eight count for Vivian. I can tell you, I was close. I, I, I've never been knocked out, but I was close to the knockout, I guess. Because I could see the star, the famous star that people are talking about. I saw them. Vivian hangs on until the bell, but he'll have to wait to see if he's done enough to impress the judges. It is a unanimous decision in the blue corner. Of course, I would be extremely excited if I had won, but this didn't happen. But as we had talked already, I'm already a winner. Uh, within one year, I stopped smoking, drinking. I lost 7 kg. My heart beats at 7 pulse per minute, which is extremely good for a 38 years old guy.